So we are out here on the horse farm and we're fencing with poly tape and we fence all of ours with poly tape, meaning that we go around internal curves like this and then we also curve out. We do a lot of turns by bringing our posts closer together distance wise. So some of the problems with this is that your turn is going to come this way away from the flat side of the T-post. What that means is that these insulators are more likely to pop open and then your fence release from the insulator. So this right here is a method that I've come up with for not having to worry about that issue. <laughs> now, what are these things? They're not just regular rubber bands. Um, they are, and we only use these around the curves. So here you can see, you know, it's still turning, still turning. That poly tape is turning away from the T-post. Here, it's still turning away from the T-post. However, this post if you take a look at this post down the line, from here on out, it's a straight line. So, this post is the first one we start with on this curve with these bands. I actually did this one as well, even though I didn't need to. So, as you come around the curve, you use these bands on all of your insulators to keep them from popping open. Now. What are these bands? They are <laughs> actually castrating bands. Yes, that's right, castrating bands. And this here is your castrating tool to open the bands. So these are really cheap. You can get them from Tractor Supply or Rural King or just about any farm supply store out there. How do you use this? So, we have a band. These bands look really, really tiny. They're really thick. They're hard to open. You cannot open these just with your fingers. At least I can't. So what do you do? You stick this onto your prongs. Right there. That way, here's one that doesn't have a band. You squeeze this open. Ugh. You squeeze it open and then you place it over top. And you need to make sure it gets over this little, it's gotta go between the notch on the T-post and the notch on the insulator. Go all the way down, then release it. Now here you are stuck <laughs> with your tool just sitting there in midair. How do you get the, uh, the little band down? Well, you just roll it down. You take your fingers and you roll it down like so. Then you pull it back open and your band's released. There we are. And you'll do that for all of the insulators on each post. Once again, where the poly tape pulls away from the post. Um, if it's curving towards the post, obviously you're not gonna have a problem with the insulators uh, pulling open, but when it's curving away, it pulls them open. And this is pretty simple, but these stay strong, you can't, you know, they're not likely to break. Uh, in my experience, they'll stay on for two, three years, and then sometimes some of them you'll have to replace, and that's just because of the uh, expansion process that goes on during winter. So that's what we've got going on here. And y'all can let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I think I've explained it pretty well.
Um, again, I think this tool and these bands together were like less than 20 bucks and probably even less than that on something like Amazon. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or general observations or how you deal with this issue in your fencing. Have a lovely day.